Well, hello there, guys and girls. You've landed on the BRO channel. I guess you wouldn't have even, uh, a lot of my subs out there coming up on 18,000 now. A lot of them don't realize or do realize that we live in South Carolina, but where we live, right outside of, uh, right outside of Camden, we are right directly in the path of this eclipse. It's going to be total darkness here at my house. So, uh, I'm going to set up some time lapse. Hopefully I can catch some real pretty stuff for you guys. And we'll come out when it's totally dark also at about 2.30 in the afternoon. So stand by guys. We're going to bring you along for this special event that will only happen once in my lifetime. Guys, like I said, I was, we're trying to get the eclipse for you folks. Because uh, yeah, we're right here in the path of it. It's going to be 100% or 99.99% .99 dark here where we are. I've got some cameras set up. I'm going to check on them. Now ain't this something, look at here. Got thunderheads are going up. Now wouldn't that be something? My GoPro will be fine out here with the time lapse. I got, got one of my JVC cameras set up here. They are, and yes, they can, uh, they can handle it. If you want to watch the eclipse, the way to watch it is through the monitor on your, uh, on your camera, on your modern. You don't want to zoom up on that thing because if you do, it can burn out your photo sensor. So that still looks to be dead center. It's starting to happen there. But uh, I also got a time lapse set up here with the GoPro. It's starting. All right, and maybe the clouds won't be too much of a factor, guys. Well, folks, it's 2.25 in the afternoon, and it should feel like we're in noontime sun, but Hammer and I walked out, and it's uh, it's cooling off out here. It was, it was uh, 100, over 105 degree heat index here in the Midlands of South Carolina. Now we're just outside of, uh, of Camden, South Carolina. We are north and east of Camden. Uh, actually, you could say we're kind of between uh, Sumter and Camden, a little closer to the Camden side. But uh, it's 225 in the afternoon, I believe. I didn't know if I mentioned that, but we're between 225 and, uh, and 230 right now. So uh, I don't know when we're going to be totally blacked out. It's supposed to be coming through Charleston uh, at about 2.59. And we are 140 miles from uh, north, uh, north and west of Charleston. All right, guys, we're going to keep you posted on this. Let me see what we got here. Uh, on the eclipse, it, uh, it shouldn't be long, and it'll be about half covered. We'll be in total darkness here in just a few minutes. Stand by. Yeah, Hammer, I was talking about how, it's how we feeling out here right now while he's eating his Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Right. How you feeling right now? It feels weird, don't it? I know all the other clips I've been in, it's a weird feeling to be outside. And it's weird standing in direct sunlight. But and it not burning cool. you. cool. Yeah. yeah, standing in direct sunlight and it doesn't burn you, does it, Rachel? It feels weird. Now, you still can't look directly at the sun because it's a little at probably right about 2.30 in the afternoon or a little after 2.30, 2.35. Only thing we'll have to contend with is if we're if we stay lucky with the clouds. I don't know if the camera really picks it up, guys. It's feeling different out here. Yes, yeah, it looks weird. And I'm telling you, it. I don't know if it's the um, the difference in the gravitational pull, but um, I can remember. Back in the uh, late 80s, whenever we had uh, we had a partial eclipse, and uh, I think it was another one in the 90s, that uh, you feel weird whenever these things are going on. Y'all, me personally, I almost feel nauseated uh, whenever these events are occurring, and it because it just could be a difference in the magnetic pull or what's going on, just makes your body feel weird. I know it does mine anyway, 
but uh, Hammer's checking out our uh, our JVC. Just Still center of the sea. Yeah. It's, it, it don't really you can't really see anything now. You can look at you can look at the eclipse through the the sensor on the uh, on the video camera. Let me see. Let's see if we can center it up again. There we go. That log still got us. I'm, uh, have to move the camera just a little bit. There we go. That's got it. Trying to get it centered up here. There we go. I'm gonna check and see how much battery we got left. Oh, we got plenty. Got plenty. All right. It's happening. It's happening. Oh yeah. Uh, like I said, they, they're, I think the camera's picking it up a little bit. It's uh, it really looks weird out here, guys. It's like it's half. You can you can feel it coming on now. Like as we speak, you can feel it coming on. All right, guys. It's happening fast now. It's starting to get dark. 240. Yeah, it's it's happening. Oh yeah. You're starting to see the, the diamond ring effect on it now. It's hard to, for the cameras to pick it up. Yep, it's it's getting dark. I gotta zoom up on it with my with my Sony so you can see it. Hammer, zoom up on it with the JVC back there. Unless, so layer, yeah, I could see a few stars, but that might be it. Yeah, I think it's brightening back up now. I think that was it. Well, folks, that was a lot of hype, and in just a few seconds. In just a couple minutes it was all over so uh but i have i've got some time lapse running and all that of this thing here that'll be over whenever this thing clears out in another hour or so and i'm gonna run that for you guys right now thanks for joining us folks this is wade rush with the bro channel we're going to be back with some hunting here very very soon guys bye bye